All right, probability and set theory. Um, we're first going to learn some of the notation here. Um, a set is a collection of distinct objects. Each object is called an element if it's in a set. And there's ways of writing these. We also use it in brackets. So we also very often see brackets when we're writing stuff. You can say an empty set is a set of brackets with nothing in them, right? Or you can just say empty set with a zero across through the middle. All right. A universal set is where elements are pulled from for the smaller set. And very often you'll just see donated by a U right there. Um, so identify set notation and each element. So A is a set of prime numbers less than 10. All right. So, so A would be, let's go, prime numbers. I started at 1. I should have started at 2, 3, five and seven right and this notation says the number in set a that's how many elements are there and we can see there's four one two three four elements set b right is even natural numbers less than ten so it seems like everything's less than ten so we got two four six eight less than ten and the number in set b is also four let c be the set of natural numbers less than ten that are multiplied by four well, C would be 4 and 8, right? This would be the numbers in set C would equal two different elements, all right? multiples of 4. And the universal set is all natural numbers less than 10. So we've got 1, we'll, we'll say universal equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that would be the number in the universal set is going to be 9. All right. So now sometimes those sets interact. So we're going to hit a table here. And this says use the following table to describe um, relationships among sets. Sets A, B, and C from U and from the previous table draw a Venn diagram. So this term right here means subset. All right. Set C is a subset of B if every element of C is also an element of B. So does all of C fit in B? And it sure looks like it, right? B has 2, 4, 6, and 8. And set C, right, is just 4 and 8. And B has, has um, 2 and 6 in it as well. And that's how we used our Venn diagram. Intersection sets. Intersection of sets A and B is a set of elements that are in both A and B. So A and B look to share the number 2, right? So the number 2 would be here, and A being odd would be 3, 5, 7. Those are the prime, and B being all even would be 4, 6, 8. And we want to figure out the universal set. There's also a universal set that could go out here, and we should probably put it up here. Um, the universal set up here would be all the numbers not in here, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9 would be our universal set. Let's fill out the rest of this, right? This is a union B, is a set of all the elements that are both in A and B, and the union would be what's in the middle. So remember, A is, um, well, A and B cross at 2, right? And A is, um, 3, 5, and 7. B is 4, 6, and 8. And the union would be all of these, right? It would be all of those. And there's the intersection, but the union is everything in here. And we'll once again say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It looks like 9. All right. And, and sometimes you get what's called a complement. What a complement, there's two ways to write it, is everything not in set A. All right. So the complement, if, if this was set A, 2, 3, 5, and 7, the complement would be everything out here, 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9, with the complement would be out here. All right, so I'm going to pause, and we're going to post this, and I'll be right back.